What is going on guys? It is Milbro here with Rufus' Rampage Day 5. Last episode we started clearing out the old hotel here. And wanted to finish that today and I'm gonna see uh go just kinda lose in here if I can finish it. And if I can't finish it, I will just and by the end of the day, then I'm planning on going over to old, uh, to the base, and, uh, because we've got the horde coming up in a couple of days, and with this accelerated cycle of, uh, 30 minutes, so we've got to be careful of the hordes. Take a couple of vitamins, get an extra point of wellness. Yeah! <laughs> Really enjoying this. It's you're keeping it fast and furious. Also, if you <laughs> saw my uh, previous episode, uh, well, my previous upload, that has absolutely blown up in terms of my content for uh, how fast it's it gotten views. Like, gotten. Like 43 views uh, within like the first uh, half a day of it being uploaded, which is absolutely killer for me. So if you came from that video and you're seeing this, I thank you so much. It means a lot. Okay, and I need some stone. Um, just scrap that down. Make a new stone axe. There we go, up to level 36. Anyway, how's your guys' take going? Are we having a good day, or is it just kind of meh? For me, it's going good. It's just another day that gets a little bit boring for me. It's one of those, it's just like... Um, just a lot of relaxing. I'm also just kind of thinking about what cons I'm doing. It's how I can improve. Let's see what's in the old nightstand here. Scrap you down. Oh, well, this door is unlocked. Usually you expect uh, this kind of reinforced door to be, uh, how do you say? Be really reinforced and uh, locked up. Break into this one. But yeah, I'm gonna break into a couple of these uh, hotel rooms and I will be back in just a couple minutes with you guys. And I've uh, broken in. Search this. Uh... Yep, got some 762s. Pretty good to have a nightstand, all things considered. Nothing really in the... the medicine cabinet, some more iron in the uh, sink, anything in the old uh, toilet, no. Not too much. I don't think I'm gonna raid the rest of this hotel. And oh, also I got, looks like I got company hanging out. But I was wanting to raid the rest of this, but it's like I'm chewing through stone and hacks at this array, like uh, like they're going out of style, and yeah, it's just one of those I don't really want to chew through all these. Uh, one of those I like to kind of spend my days doing something else. So what I think I might do is. Raid these airdrops and then go see the uh, go see the trader hanging out. Get that quest off the radar. Uh, there was one more I was uh, one to loot real quick though. I did accidentally raid a nightstand. That was this one. I found like 29 paper in here. Just check the sink real quick in the medicine cabinet and 
More painkillers, definitely gonna need those healing supplies. Not really too much. Question is, do I feel like dealing with the, the zombies right now? Yeah, I'll at least deal with this fight here. Come here, buddy. Come here. There you go. Oh, black leather duster. I'll just repair it since I want to kind of go to the trader anyways. Yeah, one thing that definitely kind of comes a lot faster on this mode is, uh... Uh, wandering hordes. They, they definitely seem like they come around faster. I think they're kind of timed. Oh, morning, Annie. Which I don't mind. It's like, uh, I like having zombies. It's what is it? It's a, you know, it's a game about the, you know, you know, centering around a zombie apocalypse. So it's like, sometimes this game, like when you're playing on the longer day cycles, is, uh, it can be a little light on the old zombie front. It's just one of those, it's like, it gets a little boring at times. Unless you're summoning screamers with, the uh, um, you know, like a forge. It just absolutely melts and stuff. More than Mikey. I probably won't get the, uh, the current airdrop. Just not really, uh, because it'll probably be out of range. I'll grab some stones real quick. There we go. Um, do I want the deer? I could spend, like, probably a ton of time just, uh, uh wasted on. Chasing these guys down, I feel better with the hunting rifle. Well, as I'd rather not waste nine mil on on deer when I could be uh, using it on uh, zombies on a horde night. There you go, Annie. No, oh, thank you. And go now, shoot. Coming up on airdrop shortly. And we're coming up on first airdrop. Ooh, nail gun schematic. Very nice. I'm gonna drop nitrate powder because we got a bunch of med kits and an AK 47 receiver. Very nice, very nice. Our other airdrop did come in, and I also. So there's actually two traders nearby. There's one over here. And then there's one over here. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go to this airdrop, this airdrop, and then up the trader. Should have enough uh, time and never know. Maybe uh might even make this a, a longer episode uh, for you guys. Like, uh, it might span two days. But with all that being said, meet you at the airdrop. Coming up on airdrop number two, what do we have? Gas cans, schematic, submachine gun parts, beakers, and painkillers. Um, get rid of the goldenrod seeds, take the SMG parts. While I'm thinking about it, just take off these two uh, airdrop markers I put down. Voila. Got a couple zombies roaming around. Oh, take care of old Bob here. Nope. My bad. There you go, Bob. Nice little steer with a steel arrow. It's one of those coming up on a three o'clock in the afternoon. Got Nancy rolling up to me, saying hello. There you go. More jars. More and more and more and more. Uh, toss the bones out. I'll toss the turds because I don't really want those. Eat the water. Well, the blood bag for. Just to clear it out of my inventory. 
And not really too much farther from the last airdrop. I know some people <laughs> saying you might be asking like, do I have the airdrops on daily? I figure, you know, especially since like, you know, days are going to be run by, it's like, you know, I'm not really going to be able to get all the airdrops going in one day. It's like, uh, just let much less time and it's like, you know, kind of, especially if I remember to mark them or if I don't, it's like, find fun little surprises out in the wilderness and then, you know, kind of help me with a decent amount of supplies. Like, uh, Oh, here's the airdrop. Like this, a whole bunch of... A whole bunch of uh, airdrop stuff. I'll just grab the little rocket launcher parts. I think actually what I might do is, uh... I did want to have the airdrop speed daily. I'll think about it, you know, like, going into the... Next episode, you know, whether or not I want to do this, maybe reduce it down to, um, an airdrop every three days, because, like, that is ridiculous for, I got, like, 25 medkits now, like, 24. As much as I love having, you know, medical supplies, I think that's a bit overkill, especially considering I got 200% loot on. Would probably be a wise idea to keep it, uh, maybe you know, keep the airdrops kind of like, you know, once every three days. Just run to the trader and, um, keeping it, keeping it busy. Um, should be right up here. Looks got a radio tower sitting over there. Anything I could use that as a place to shack up for the night. Do need some more hydration. Who do we got? Trader Bob. <laughs> And you're right on the edge of a wasteland biome. Hey, I got pistols, so I should be okay. Got old Bob. Definitely close the door up, though. Just in case, uh, zombies decide to get rowdy with me. Hello, Bob. How are we doing? The best. Voila. Got some decent stuff and nothing really tickling my fancy. Just some stuff that I'd rather not. <laughs> oh, well, I don't have the money for. Question is, where's that dog? Oh, a couple dogs. Uh, One dog down. If you've watched uh, one of my older series, uh, The Hunter, you'll definitely know uh, how uh, how I feel about these guys. Right. Are there any more hiding around here? Yeah. Oh, it's just it's just the old uh, barbed wire. Well, good to know. Got Trigger Bob hanging out here. Um, I don't really want to hang around the wasteland too much, so. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take a stroll and probably go back to um, base, and I will catch you once I head, uh, once I get back there. On my way back to home, and got a couple of visitors wanting to talk to me. Thanks, Charlie, for the slap on the face. Much not appreciated. I yeah, just wanted to keep this a uh, little entertaining. 
And now I'm thinking about you, know, like, because <laughs> I really don't want to, uh, uh, what I'm gonna, what I want to do now is, uh, want to get the, I'm gonna go till about midway of, uh, day six to kind of keep it balanced out for you guys, you know, like, basically make this, like, day, you know, day five and then halfway to day six, and keep the, uh, and then I'll do the rest of day six and all of, uh, day seven through the horde for you guys, you know, kind of give you guys a couple longer episodes. I just like, yeah, I want to put out content for you guys, but I don't want it to be that boring for you. So, I'm just about to home here and uh, run through the woods. Doesn't seem like, aside from the deer over there, or the not much zombies that are hanging out here. Um, maybe there might be some at the. Once you arrive at the house, just have to see here in just a second. Any trespassers? I hear somebody. Oh, Nancy. Oh, crap. Just run to the house and hunt. No protection. Oh boy. Yep, just run into the house, close the door. There we go. Oh, come on, guys. You guys should know better. Oh boy, things are getting a little dicey here. There you go, Bob's down. Got Nancy knocking on the door. Come on. Oh crap. Bob's blocking the way with his butt. There we go, Nancy's down. There's a reason why I didn't decide to crank up zombie health on this. It's because I did want zombies, uh... Um... Uh, being tanky, or I at least stand some chance of not dying from not killing over and dying. It's like Psycho Steve, uh... Decided it was a great idea to break his leg. Sucks for you. There you go, buddy. Whew. Well, home sweet home, though. You even means uh, getting battered a little bit by the undead. Ooh, got some... Got the anvil on uh, standby. Got uh, make... Excuse me? Oh, I put the anvil in the fuel. <laughs> Ooh. I know I can melt an anvil down, but I don't think that it makes very good for firewood. Um, just put some of the junk back in the... Back in the old chest here. It's yeah, definitely fun to have a little bit of a uh, zombie chase in the middle of the night. Cooking grills ready for. Um, I want to get. Just gonna pull the iron out of the forge. I want to pull the clay out. 
Um, wait out the night here. And I'll, I'll be back. <laughs> well, actually, it won't be too long for, for the horde. No, not the horde, uh, morning time. Just pulling clay out. Um, I want to start beating this down because I want to get, uh, I want to take the Sforge with me. As well as, I guess I got the wrench and very vital asset to take with me now. Um, I need the cooking grill and some stone. Where did I put that stone? Make a campfire. And can finally cook some food. I don't know if I scrapped the cook pot down. I probably did. Oh well. I generally just make grilled meat anyways. Give you that and the anvil. And throw that away because I'm not putting in stuff. I'm just planning on getting the forge moved out. Put in like five minutes of fuel. <laughs> Plenty of <laughs> grilled meat. There we go. Start, let's get out of here and start resource crafting because oh, resource gathering them. My mistake because close it's order is not too far away and I want to make sure I'm prepared for this. Check to see if we have any visitors. Who looks like there's another psycho Steve hanging out. Over there, just uh, doing his thing, being all squirrely. And stone axe is about to break here in a second. Yep, it's broken. Um, yeah, my care him. My character will warm up. I'm not worried about him. I can put up with it. stone axe back out and just gonna focus on getting more resources to gather stuff um, take care of old Stevie boy here come here buddy I know you want your wallet fun what you got nothing Feathers, take it for ammo. And we just start pounding on stones. I think my basic uh, defense is gonna be because, like, Fortnite's gonna go by fairly quickly, is just gonna be uh, maybe make a hole in the side of the house and uh, for two, you like kind of allow a zombie flow and then. Throw in some spikes just to help hold them off. It's not the best, but it should hold out for day seven horde. And it's like, yo, know, want to get this all prepared, yo. Know. Well, you know, have a sense of feeling of urgency, yo. Know. Just, just want to get these stones for mainly iron and stone. so I can get more tools on the craft and maybe even more arrows. And I don't see anybody else hanging out at the moment. And we're looking we're looking fine. 
just. It has to be a little bit on edge after that. Not that horde. No, that little. Yeah, I guess you call it a little horde. You know, mini wandering group to coming after me. Live to fight another day. Oops, somebody's uh, around. Good morning, Curly. Come here. No, don't. You don't need to hit me. Take it easy there. You slap me, I can't be here with a little club. Yeah, no thanks to the Curly. No sham sandwiches. Zombies always want to offer me sham sandwiches. Story of my life. Getting closer, I'm beating this forge down. Um, grab a new stone axe, get this one going. And... Let's see... Come on, please. Go a little bit faster, that's all I ask of you. And <laughs> stone axe. Okay, three hit points, and how's the meat looking? Just a couple more. Uh... And there we go. I think what I should do is like, because I want to just use this place to utilize the top of the place here as my fighting area. Just gonna throw a box up here and throw stuff up here that I just want to keep. Well, this is not the... because I am gonna have to bug out fairly quickly after the horde. Grab those arrows. So I have ammo for the bow. Painkillers, water, honey, the anvil should come with. A lot of this stuff can just stay. Um, take 762s. Got a bunch more stones hanging out. Duct tape's always something good, feathers always good. Splints, grain alcohol. Yeah, I gotta have my little uh, bug out box for once the hard rolls in. But I'll also throw in the the grilled meat just to keep myself up. Uh, that way, I have everything all ready to. Ooh, one wood short. Nom nom nom. And that's it. Uh, that'll top me off for now. Do need some water to drink. Um, I'll stick that with to start. You know, once I move, I'll have enough to and just keep going on water, and I shouldn't thirst to death. There we go. Drink enough. And it's about 10 o'clock in the morning, so I'm going to leave this episode here. If you made it to the end, I thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all even might subscribe and catch you in the next episode.